What is going on, you guys? This is your man King May coming back with y'all right here in the King May YouTube channel, y'all. Today we are back on Autumn Oaks. I'm telling you, y'all, I am absolutely loving this map. And so far, it seems like you guys have really been enjoying it as well. So today we are hoping, anyways, to push towards the finishing of harvest here. We got some silage corn left and one field of high moisture corn left that needs to get put into the bin to get dried so we can sell it off here. Coming up on day five of winter when we go to sell that. That looks that's the day that it's looking like the highest price anyways we're going ahead we're we're getting the uh gearing off 12 row corn header we're getting her on down to the field here again not hiding anything from you all guys have been on they've been grinding away with harvest it's about 7 23 p.m as of late as of right now anyway and we're rocking about one hundred and sixty-two thousand dollars. now today is a very special day aside from well we're not going to get much done here this evening anyways i'm hoping to knock out this field here not a whole lot of acres but we're going to go ahead we're going to try anyways get all that done finished up all right there we go all taken care of but money wise we're still sitting really good on this map on this series that we are doing here sitting really well as far as well all of our fields now we are on a bit of a crunch now. It's day 10, as you guys saw there at the beginning. I'm not hiding anything. Day 10, we only got two more days left. I believe we we set up for 12 day seasons. So that's why I'm hoping to bust out this little field of corn here tonight, get the high moisture corn done. Our auger can get put away and then all hands on deck as far as focusing on our silage corn. We're gonna get after that here tomorrow. And tomorrow, very, very special, we got a demo that we're gonna pick up here. I talked to the old dealership down there and uh, well, we, we worked out a little bit of something. I, you know, I was talking with him. I was kind of looking at it, possibly upgrading to it. I was just looking and he said, well, you know what, tell you what, we, I got this one here. It's, uh, you know, I'm not gonna give it all the way right now, but it's a, it's a forestry model. We have other variations, but you know what? No one's really been using it. Why don't you go ahead? Why don't you demo it for a little bit? We'll give you X amount of hours, and uh, you know, if you don't like it, bring it back. If you like it, we can we can deck this thing out or change anything you want on it. So I I pulled the trigger. I said, why not? It's a demo. They ain't gonna hurt me none. So we'll be doing that tomorrow here. But first things first, we're gonna hop in the old STS. We're gonna get after it today. And as we're firing up the old coal start here, ooh, just the sound of. I'm serious, you guys. If you guys do enjoy the video today, though, as we're starting up the old STS, if you like the video, make sure you go ahead, tap that thumbs up button for me. Of course, if you haven't yet subscribed here to the Kingmaker community, make sure you go ahead and do that for me now. But you guys, this STS, I know a lot of you actually ended up joining the Discord even and asking, where do I get this STS? Well, I am still searching, you guys. I did look at the mod itself. It says it's a SID modding JHHG. The two of them, those are the original makers, but this is an edited STS, and I am still working on figuring out whose edit that is. I'm not exactly sure. I haven't heard of those two names before, so so I'm trying to make sure that I figure out whether or not it was a private deal with Hoberman or if it was a public mod in which you guys can check out. I don't know that yet, so just hang in there with me tight. I am looking it up for you all. All right, now we were doing a little bit of uh, high moisture corn with this combine already. So I do know after I got everything switched over, as we're missing a row here, I do know that we had everything set up and I just went back into those settings. So we should be good here. I am gonna keep shelling away on this field. I'm gonna not, I get this thing knocked out here tonight. We already got milk and done. I'm just gonna keep going here on this field and get this thing shelled out. Seems how it was a bit of a late one after milking cows and whatnot. We're gonna be out here just a little bit late. It's gonna start getting pretty dark here pretty quick. And I will catch up with you all tomorrow in the morning. When we go down, we pick up that demo, and then we're gonna get after harvesting our last fields of silage corn here. All right, y'all, so it is the next morning here. We're gonna go head on down to the, uh, well, dealership here. 
I did get with them yesterday about that. I said, hey, look, I'm not gonna really have time today, but is there any way I can come early, early morning so that I can use this new demo for the morning shores? They were completely fine with it. They had some guys coming in. They said, hey, it's, it's harvest season anyways. We're coming in early. So absolutely, I was all down for that. So we're gonna head on down here. We're gonna pick up this demo. We're gonna give her a whirl for uh, cleaning up around the heifer pen. Obviously, we got some more manure that we're gonna need to clean up and chores to do with that. So we're gonna get after it here early this morning so we can start getting in the fields and get into that silage corn, y'all. Okay, guys, so we got her loaded up. Not very big, but you know what? We are gonna go ahead. We're gonna demo this JCB. Now there are different sizes of this one. I do have different variations but we're gonna go ahead we're gonna demo this one this one is the forest master it's kind of why it hasn't been getting used a whole lot there's not a lot of guys around here doing much forestry but we're gonna get this old girl back to the farm we're gonna give her a whirl we're gonna see how she is and uh i'll let you guys know now he did say we can go ahead we can kind of uh, deck it out if we want to keep the same one they can kind of remove some of the forestry stuff and they have a different option where you can kind of extend or boom the arm uh, I don't you know we don't necessarily need that here on the farm I mean it wouldn't be such a bad idea I mean especially for stacking bales should be able to do that just fine or grabbing the bales to go feed them during the summertime after they're stacked so I don't know we will test it out we'll see hopping in the old 76 here this morning now we did take the front end loader off of this old girl for right now just to kind of help finishing up with uh harvest and whatnot so I really liked using this 7600 actually for uh, bringing back our silage wagons and biggest reason is it's just a little bit skinnier profile it really makes it nice now y'all are gonna have to help me down in that comment section here i know we just we got rid of the quad track because it just wasn't really fitting for our farm setup we did upgrade we got the 8410 down there definitely fits into our theme here of our farm the quad track just really didn't it's way too big for this kind of a setup but the 8440 we ended up getting that 8440 in replacement of the quad track now she's got plenty of horsepower for our plow back there and for our cultivator or vertical till i should say but i don't know i i'm thinking about possibly reducing down the equipment that we have for this upcoming year and progressing ourselves into something a little different maybe uh getting rid of the k7250 getting rid of the 8440 moving into uh 83 or 8420 i don't know if i necessarily need to go as high as an 8520 but i would definitely do that with the duels all the way around on the the 8020 series I don't know i'm i'm thinking about doing that y'all let me know down in that comment section what do you guys think we're gonna go ahead we're gonna leave the 76 right there let's go grab that jcb we're gonna test it out this morning all right hopped up in the old jcb now the one thing i will say is if we were to upgrade into something like this we definitely got to get rid of the forestry setup on it so that'll be number one just for clearance i really have no use for doing any sort of forestry around the farm so far i am realizing that this jcb is quite a bit slower than the uh, bobcat which you know it's kind of nice having the bobcat just nice quick kind of whip around the farm so now the biggest test after this is the bobcat always rocks really hard right here as we're going in progressing the weight oh oh getting a little bit close there but so far looking like the jcb with the track setup is actually quite a bit nicer uh rides on the hilly side of this quite a bit better so so far points is going to the jcb all right so that pen is cleaned out we did end up topping the manure spreader off now we do have just a little bit of manure in here that didn't quite fit in there i was trying to overload it and couldn't quite do that but that is okay we're gonna go spread that manure we're gonna get morning chores finished up here we're gonna keep on grinding away so far i will say the jcb it, it, uh, it's about even about even with the bobcat stability is going to be one over on the bobcat just i and again i'm thinking it's mainly just because of the track but that would be really nice for down in there just because we're always going to deal with that i'm not really going to terraform 
that ground up at all around that pen. It's doing just fine. It's just a little bit rocky with the Bobcat compared to the tracks on this JCB. So, well, I mean, I'm sure it'll just kind of boil down to pricing at the very, very end here. What can we kind of get for the Bobcat compared to the price tag on the JCB? But for right now, leave it right there for now. We're gonna have to get a mixture of um, TMR made up here this morning as well, but I'm gonna keep grinding away on chores. I'm gonna catch up with you all after a minute here. All right, chores wrapped up, everything's done. We went out, we hooked up to this silage box here. Now I'm thinking we kind of just start further away. Now I do apologize y'all with rock and shaders. I know some of you all in the comments of the last video were kind of asking, hey King, how is it that you can get your game looking so crispy and uh, just looking good? And I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I, I do have a 2080 graphics card in my PC. However, the addition onto that is the shaders that I just installed for the game. I don't normally, or I never did rock shaders before, but now, <laughs> now that I've tried North Simulation shaders, so it's kind of a multi-deal, y'all. You, you install the shaders. It's very, very easy to do. Just make sure you're very careful about it. Uh, very easy to install them. And then as well, there's a mod that comes with that. And that mod is an additional settings mod. Allowing you this tab right here up at the very top. You can go out, you can click on that and make sure your custom lighting is on northern lighting you can also kind of adjust the brightness just a little bit if you would like to do that now the only downside to that you all is sometimes i get little blocks and some of that has to do with when you do shift f2 after your shaders are in going on this d3 d11 up here at the very top i got to kind of play around with these once in a while it's currently set up on the one that i do enjoy having on however the only issue that i have with it is once in a while i get blocks when i am in the cab but when i'm outside of the cab everything looks so gosh darn good and i do really enjoy it so it's been kind of a little bit of a struggle trying to get that down so as we're moving boxes down to the field prepping up here make sure you guys go ahead go to facebook go to north simulations on facebook and go check out their shaders i'm gonna lie really really been enjoying them as of late all right this one we're gonna leave hooked up just because i'm not sure at least last time when we did that bottom section it was pretty much getting full by the time we're down at the end of one pass so we're gonna leave that hooked up i'm gonna take a little mosey up we'll grab um probably grab a 7250 it's been doing well for chopping as of right now get that hooked up to the chopper we're gonna get to going all right i got the pipe out ready to go everything's fired up should be good to roll now we are about to have to take fuel so i probably should have filled up with fuel beforehand but we're gonna go ahead we're gonna get after it i'm sure it'll be about lunchtime anyways when i run out of that half tank of fuel and i'm gonna be wanting to go on into the house and grab me something to eat here but we're gonna get after this corn silage here y'all really really been enjoying autumn oaks as of late i know i've been saying it quite a bit but y'all if you haven't checked out autumn oaks make sure you go check out dennis modding on facebook go check him out he's got a web page uh, really cool things going on with that web page as well y'all uh, he's been kind of linking up getting together with all the other modders and uh you can find all of their modding information as far as where they're at as far as youtube or facebook or wherever they they post their mods he's got a link there so very very cool very cool to see that networking going on there with dennis farming with other modders prepping and rolling steam rolling i will say right into fs22 and he's really picking up steam doing a lot of really cool things very excited to see that and what they can all bring here coming up uh, in, you know including all the modders man just every modder is seeing what we've been able to do with fs19 i am so excited to see what fs22 is going to bring us with all the new updates to the game but y'all i'm gonna call this one a video here as we are chopping silage and if you enjoyed the video today make sure you go ahead tap that thumbs up button for me it helps me out helps boost the video and if you haven't yet subscribed here to the kingman community make sure you go ahead and tap that little red button down there for me now but anyways we're gonna call it i hope you all have a good one and we'll catch you on the next video peace